All right, Kieran, obviously a big way to start off the tournament. Uh, just talk about, about what worked tonight. Well, I think everything worked if uh, if you take a look at the game. Just from the start of the game, though, we were ready to go. We wanted to set a precedent that we were going to outwork every team that was here at the tournament, and, and I think we definitely accomplished that. We wanted to come out hard, let everybody know that, that we were going to be the team to beat again, just coming back as being the defending champions. And uh, it, it was just putting everything into place. We put in some new systems and things like that, and we just we worked really hard, and we just wanted to, to come out flying. and. And fortunately, we got a couple balances right at the bat, and I think that kind of took a little bit of the wind out of their sails, and we just kept hammering on them, and, and uh, we, yeah, we just took it right to them. Having not played a competitive game this year, how important to get that quick start, not just for today, but for the rest of the week as well? Well, just looking in any short tournament situation, you want to come out ready to go, and, and I think we showed that when we were, our, our game preparation in the room before was, was bang on. We were, guys are sitting there, they are focused, and, and uh, whenever you can start a tournament like that, it's great because it just lets everybody know in the tournament that we're ready to go. It lets the guys in the room know that we're ready to go, and it just starts us off with the, with the right start, and uh, it gives us a good opportunity to, for our game tomorrow against Norway. Like you said, tomorrow Norway, obviously a, a very quick trend on a noon game tomorrow. Do you think about that kind of thing in a game like this and maybe not exert as much energy? No, you, every game you go out there, we, we only play five games in a tournament. We want to go out and give it 110% every game. We, with only five games, you, you don't really have to leave anything on the line. And, and this year, switching to 50-minute periods, having the full team that we do, it just makes it a little bit easier to, to give it all we got. So we didn't leave anything in the tank. We emptied our tanks, and we just got to fuel up and get ready for Norway because it's going to be a huge game tomorrow. Big way to start the tournament. What are your thoughts on tonight? Uh, we're real proud of the guys. Uh, they were they prepared themselves really well for tonight's game and got off to a really really quick start. Uh, a little bit of trouble there with uh, too many men on the ice, but uh, we got we, we killed that penalty and we we're away to the races for sure. How important is a start like that, not only for tonight but building for the rest of the week as well? Well, it's uh, you have to build on momentum, you have to build on good habits, and uh, we accomplished that tonight. How do you make sure you keep it going now the rest of the week? Well, it's uh, it's like this game's over, and so now the guys are going to enjoy the win and. It's, it's time to prepare for tomorrow, and it has to start right now. All right, Coach, obviously a tough way to start the tournament. What are your thoughts on today's game? Well, I think we came out flat in the first period, and we, I think guys are nervous a little bit because uh, we got a new team going here. Where half of the guys changed almost so from the Vancouver team. So uh, give, us, give them a little time, but it's too bad in the first period. I think we came back okay in the second, third. So Once it gets to a game like that, is it just a good opportunity to work on some things? Yeah, I got to do a lot of positioning, a lot of one on ones, a lot of three on threes. We got to do many, many things. We got to walk on a lot of things. We got to do. What do you got to do to make sure uh, tomorrow, the U.S. tomorrow, obviously another tough game? What do you have to do to make sure the team comes out ready to go? Well, two shots cannot win the game, obviously. So we got to shoot more. We got to walk on the positioning in the defensive zone. And I'll walk on the positioning tomorrow. That's a major thing I would do tomorrow.